Add <laughs> all those so make it yeah. away. Right? You know, like, we ain't really yeah. just trying to like conquer the world or nothing or some you know, like shit. Mm. Some of us are, but not too many. But let's get into it. He could be an alien though. Why the hell? Elon Musk, Elon Musk, Elon Musk is most likely an alien. Have you seen that man? He doesn't look human. He Every does rich it. person is an alien now. I mean, it's either Illuminati or alien. Well, you probably believe in the lizard people, don't you? I don't believe it. I believe in everything, though. Whatever they try to get you to not believe, <laughs> that believe shit's real. For, for real. Mm, I think it's mermaids, vampires, all of this shit. Mermaids. I do so. think mermaids could have been a thing. Like we not can't right breathe now. for shit. <laughs> I think we, like maybe maybe back in the back, you know, maybe a long time ago, a couple hundred thousand years ago when we were still evolving or whatever, millions, whatever they want to say. <laughs> All right, we were back there and we were fucking different shit. So we just trying to figure our way out. Like we was like do we still stay with the monkeys or do we get freaky and the fucking shit? shit? <laughs> like, what's gonna work? You know, like I seen the other day, this you fucking, uh, it was a deer, fucking a mule. And I was like, what? no wonder they got mule deers. Like, that's what it is. I mean, like, a whole ass deer was just on the mule. <laughs> And we're going to get into some important that shit. That doesn't sound like that. 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 That I did not know that they but not, but not in every state, which is the scary <laughs> thing. <laughs> wow. Which is crazy. I knew a dude once I worked for him. Jesus Military Christ. guy. He was that like, doesn't I got a TV from Germany. <laughs> so he's the reality. I swear that tracks, that whole conversation. I was like, yeah, I don't even want to. Don't see even want to see that. that TV. <laughs> but anyway, I think we had to find our way at some point during evolution, you know? And eventually it was like, nah, let's just stick together instead of going outside. You know, <laughs> let's leave the horses and shit. Because where does, uh, 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 where does uh, like, the horses? Where does mythology get that You're shit? You're right from? though, the half human, half horse kind of thing. All of this. Like we got Damn. like That shit was fucked up though, because why they have them naked ass babies? If you look at like their little paintings and shit, they literally got little kids, the penis out, like boobs Oh, cherubs. Out. Yeah. Yeah, like cherubs. It's crazy. They're supposed to be like angel children. Yeah, it's just it comes off <laughs> it comes off weird and nowadays, but like cherubs are supposed to be like they're not supposed to look like that either. It's not mm. supposed to be babies. It's supposed to be like like a bunch of different eyeballs in like a spherical form. So when people oh use, like the biblical is yeah, of when angel, people supposed like to see eyes. angels, they're not supposed to be beautiful. It's supposed to be scary. It's terrifying. But we had to flip that because why would you want to see that? that yeah. Church? So, it's like let's put babies yep. and put their booty on. People <laughs> that like, don't make people like baby, baby butts. Like that's, no, that's weird. It's, it's weird as fuck. The church is like got some weird symbolism. Anything else, they they call them like the black paintings and shit. Like when mm -hmm. artists would come in and they would have nudity or anything in their paintings, they would call them black paintings. They burn them and throw them away, but they would never be shown or sold. So the church commissioned a lot of paintings back then. Give me yeah. that one less. <laughs> they commissioned mainly all the artists back then. So it's like, imagine you releasing music back then, mm -hmm. but the church is paying for it. And if you cuss or you anything in the yeah. song, they're like, yeah, we're not putting that out. So it's a, I feel it's one of our greatest like fuck ups because it's like, I wanted to see the paintings that got told no. <laughs> like, what did you say no yeah. to? What was so what good at church? Said said, yes yeah. to. Because I know it was some hating motherfuckers in there. It was like, nah, don't let him get his shit off. <laughs> no, that painting's gonna put me out of business. So they were like, yeah, hey, let's burn this shit and go kill him too. <laughs> Not kill because him. Because we the church. Say yeah. he believed in witchcraft and all that shit. Yep. So, anyway, so nuclear physics. How did you <laughs> <how did you, laughs> What a transition! <laughs> Speaking of witchcraft, nuclear yeah. physics. How do we get, how do you get involved in nuclear physics? Cause I, I, I like it, it like uh, like how did I get a job working in it or why yeah. did I go to school like, like why did you go to school for it? 
What made you feel uh, like you I was reading Dan Brown's Angels and Demons. He's the guy that wrote the, you know, the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, bullshit. I read Angels and Demons. Right, yeah. So it opens up in that first chapter, and they're talking about the guy stealing antimatter from Syria. Yeah, and that I was has like, always made me like... I was like, this is so fucking cool. And then I immediately... I have no idea what you was talking about. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm over here like, yeah. Give her, give her and everybody else a rough... Quick explanation of what antimatter is. Well, matter it just the opposite of matter. This so. and then there's nothing. But yeah. The, the nothing is somewhere. And the nothing were, of this. If you were to something? bring antimatter here, it's supposed to consume. Well, there's antimatter, and then there's it's, like it's dark crazy. matter, and the the idea is that we occupy space like we're physical bodies, and something has to occupy the on the space. So that's where dark matter comes in, and it's the whole thing of like, you know. You just hit yeah. us with the. <laughs> because it's, I'm gonna get it in like five minutes. I have it's to process okay. it. Process it. Anyway, so I read that, and I was like, "That's really fucking cool." Oh, yeah. And I was already a nerd, right? So I read Star Wars. <laughs> right there. Thanks. Um, and then. Uh, so I read that book, and then when I got into my sophomore year of high school, I took my first day of physics class, and I was like, mm -hmm. this is the shit that I want to do for the rest of my life. I was like, this is so beyond fucking interesting. I've never met and, anybody yeah. that wanted to be in physics. <laughs> so yeah, so I, went to, I went to Indiana University and had a particle accelerator there, and I was like, this is fucking amazing. Particle accelerator. Yeah. It's, it's for a car, right? A no! 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 <laughs> no! This is no, why, this is how, why you do, you do, how you do deep. You brain. It's how you do deep science experiments. Yeah. So, it's like, oh. Right, so, like, like, you putting pipes underneath the ground a yeah. lot. Is that what they're doing when they say they're fixing the road? Yes, they're putting particle accelerator. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what they're doing when they're fixing the road. So but they speed up particles and shit like that to yeah. get them to a certain speed and see like nuclear fission, fission, fission? is that what it is? Nuclear fission? Is yeah. that what they're trying to say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah. gotta I mean, speed it up. Yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna get on to that. <laughs> I'm gonna let yeah. you do it. But. So, they have a particle accelerator there and I remember going in to see my academic advisor and being like, well, I wanna do applied physics. Hmm. And she's like, that's really difficult. And I was like, yeah, no shit. But I was like, that's what I want to do. So that's what I did. And um, I stayed in this dorm room. It was called a living learning center. So you live in the dorms, but you also had to take a class at the dorm. It was like a one credit, like really easy shit. And they had one called our quantum universe. And I was like, well, there we go. That works out. And, uh, you know, of course, like I, like excelled at that and blew that course out of the water, but the guy that was teaching in class had a little badge on his belt. And I finally was like, well, where do you work? And he was like, well, I'll work at the Cyclotron, which is the particle accelerator. And I was like, well, how do you get a job there? And he's like, oh, you know, it's easy. Like, just go onto the physics department website, read a bunch of people's research. If you find somebody who's researching something you're interested in, send me an email and tell them you want a job, and they'll just hire you, which is exactly what I did. Damn. So, yeah, I ended up, um, I got my bachelor's in applied physics with a concentration in, in nuclear physics. And I did an experiment on interdimensional gravitational forces and violations of string theory. And that's what I wrote my paper on to graduate. String theory. Yep. Explain string theory to me, I feel like. So not, I, not the long version. <laughs> it's just, it is strings, it is what it yeah. says, right? Like they're, all matter is connected in a series of strings that vibrate in a certain way. Things. Right. Is that like the like the graphic of the wave where it's like sure. like going up and down type shit? Like the earth sits on it and it's like a lines running through and it's like it just sits in a little bowl. No. Damn. No <laughs> I would have to show you y'all. I'm describing that shit for real. Is it, is it like on Spider Man when he was with Doctor Strange and they went pulling all that stuff with math? Cause like you said, everything is yeah, like kind of. geometry. Yeah, kind okay. of. Yeah. Damn, you got. It. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. Nah, I'm not. You ain't dumb. 
But people so, tell me that all the time. I'm like, are you lucky you're pretty? Because you're really slow. Well, fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Well, I'm lucky I'm smart because I'm not very good looking, so it bounces out. You are good looking. Oh, look at him. Hey, he has a wife. He has a wife. So, about you. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of backstory on you too. Okay. So, what made you get into music? Because you know, everybody has a get into music <laughs> story. Because I've heard your music, and it's kind of more so like it's probably you're not really just. Mind, yeah. It's not really just like some girly shit either. It's like straight bars and shit too. So, what made you wanting to get into music and like the rap style? How did you develop that rap style? Well, like I feel like. I love music so much because it was like kept for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I grew up, my dad is a pastor. My mom, like she grew up country. Yeah, <laughs> so anything I got to listen to was country. Was too, was you country. know what I'm talking about. So when did yeah. you start to hear rap music? I mean, we were still getting You were still off. listening. <laughs> she wasn't allowing it, but it's like she had to work a lot too. So, so what it's was like you I going had to listen to the music too. So it's like I definitely was going to get in CDs. Okay. To do it. But it was like no movies, like if my mom's, cause you know what it was VHS and shit like that. Yeah. Like Harry Potter, anything like that. She you couldn't watch that. that. Like she hated it. Was the the devil, yeah. It was the devil, yeah. witchcraft type shit. So I'm like, nah, I love Harry <laughs> Potter, bro. <bro. laughs> so I done read three of the books. I seen so every cool. movie multiple times. So I was like, <laughs> I gotta watch this. And I don't really want to get into that. <laughs> but yeah, so how did it's you get into like it? That. So I started, like you said, like you get older, you go to school. I heard of Nicki Minaj, I wanna say, that was like seventh grade. And like I said, I just got into rap music and she was just, she was hard and she was it. She wasn't just talking about selling her coochie, like she really stood for something. And I said, I wanna do that one day, you know what I'm saying? I wanna make little girls feel the way that she made me feel like you could do anything, you know what I'm saying? It's been a roller coaster from then. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> it's question, hard. question for both of y'all, like, how do you feel the content and or and or music that you make? How do you feel that impacts like your life now and where you want to be? Like, is it a positive thing that you're running towards, or do you feel like something? Sometimes it could be a negative thing because I feel. I'll just kind of get my rundown of this. Sometimes I don't know if we're, if I'm headed in the right direction for the right reasons, or if I'm just doing something that's gonna lead me down a path of like somewhere I'm not wanting to be, actually. Because sometimes you want shit that you really don't need. So like sometimes fame and, you know, even making a lot of money is, is what you think you want, but sometimes it's a lot more overwhelming and it leads a lot of people down mental instability, drug addiction, Past like that, so how do you see what you do being a positive influence in your life? I'm How do I see what I'm doing as a positive influence in my life? Um, I mean, it's a like it's a pretty creative outlet, and I'm also like I don't I don't know, man. I, like with the physics stuff. Oh, excuse me, I got burp from the drink. Uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, like, I've always been, like, an observer, and, like, watching, I guess? Like, I don't know, man. Like, cameras give you a unique ability to be part of something, but still being, like, away from it. Which is, it's a, it's a weird way to, it's hard to describe. But it just, it's given me the opportunity to explore and see things that I wouldn't normally be involved with. So. It's my turn. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you got better. <laughs> I know, you caught me off guard with it. Uh, I just feel like what's positive for me is just keep going. Like, don't give up. Just to show yourself, I don't know if you have kids or like just people around you, like you really can make anything happen if you don't give up. So it's yeah. like you do it, it seems to me that like you do it for other people. 
too. So it's like, do you see it being something that's good for you to do that as well? Or is it just like you doing it for other people type shit? Cause... I mean, I love music. I do it for myself. But when I talk about other people, like, because there was a point where you're talking about being somewhere you don't want to be, where I was doing the Megan Thee Stallion, I was doing the Buster Wide Open Coochie stuff. Like, that's not me. So when you start to think about if you do that music, like, you have to do that music. You created a sound and a fan base off of shaking your ass and there's nothing wrong with that but is that me who's gonna listen to my music my niece is 14 years old like that's not something i want her to hear from me so yeah i do it for the people around me because i want to make them proud of what i've invested my time into it's kind of what i got towards doing this shit is more so like I want to talk to a lot of different people, see a lot of different stories, just because I don't want to just go like tunnel vision only with my experiences, feeling alone with shit, and just not being able to branch out and then give other people a platform to talk about shit too. Because it's like, we've all been through things, like my life wasn't perfect, and it's kind of weird that I got towards this, but in middle school, like I've always seen myself being on stage doing something. But I never knew what it would be. So it's just like I kind of saw myself there, but I really had no direction of what I was going to do. So I just kind of went and whatever and see what worked type shit. But like, I want to ask you about, you know, your past life. Like, we had briefly touched on it when we were talking. You know? <laughs> but let's talk about just trying to give people a little bit more history on y'all two, just to see where you're coming from. But we spoke a little bit on addiction. And I've known a lot of people that struggle with that. Even myself, I felt like with certain things, I was kind of overly dependent on certain shit in my previous, you know, <laughs> run down with things. And even now, like, I feel like sometimes I can't be, I shouldn't be smoking as much as I yeah. do type shit. So overly dependent. But how did you fight through that to get into the headspace of where you want to be down? <clears throat> I mean, there was no like, fight. This, I, it, there, there was no fighting through it. Like, I was just fully, I was just fully prepared and like fine with dying, and I was just kind of like drifting around, and um, I came to rehab here seven and a half years ago, which was not my first and only time in rehab, um, and I just got sober that time. Since then, it's, I felt like I was playing catch up for a while, mm -hmm. but now I feel like I'm kind of at where I'm supposed to be at, or I think I should be at. But yeah, it, it was a lot of um, I don't know, just having like 